I appreciate uh, my fellow panelists for really setting the, the scene in terms of the complexity and the challenges facing us, but also highlighting inspiration and a way forward. And uh, I just wanted to start by saying this is my first visit to CERN, and to be honest, I'm a little starstruck. When uh, the Large Hadron Collider was beginning construction in the late 90s, I was a, a teenager living in a rural South African uh, town. And uh, I, would, uh, I was very interested in physics and astronomy at the time. And so I'd wander into the local news agent, uh, into the section of international magazines, and uh, I would browse that section for a few hours at a time because of course all these imported magazines were uh, subject to import duties and were way too expensive to buy. But uh, I would uh, learn about the construction of this uh, incredible accelerator. I would learn about things like um, the accelerating expansion of the universe. And it was my first connection really with the scientific community by, that, uh, by those kinds of links. And a lot has changed since the late 90s, but also a lot of things have stayed the same. And as we look ahead to this coming decade, what is the kind of legacy that we want to leave for the teenagers of today, who at the end of that decade, at the conclusion of the decade, they will be the people who are stepping up into the roles of scientists and of leaders of the future. And as Lydia mentioned, the ambitions for this decade are huge. We want to mobilize science to provide actionable knowledge to impact on these big challenges of sustainable development. For the International Science Council, what this means is reaching out beyond our disciplinary silos and stepping out of our ivory towers in academia and really creating the partnerships across society that will enable this kind of action and systemic change. At the same time, it's essential for us to look inwards as well as the scientific community and to see how we can make changes in the way that we do science. This must surely be the decade where we attempt to flip the science model. Could this be the decade where we build a Large Hadron Collider for Sustainability Science. Referencing yesterday's discussion around open science, this must be the decade in which we rethink the way that we do research assessments, the way we disseminate our results both to each other and to the public, and the way we change our funding models to ensure the kinds of cross-disciplinary and transdisciplinary actions across all sectors that can lead to science being embedded in the fabric of society. The IEC's mission is really to be the global voice for and of science. And we acknowledge the work of the many organizations that have made this International Year of Basic Sciences for Sustainable Development the success that it's been. And also the perseverance and the vision of the many actors that have translated this year into the decade that we now have. As a member of the steering committee, the ISC has managed to mobilize many of its 250 member organizations um, or bodies for the year. It's assisted with some of the events that you've uh, um, participated in, and it's managed to run a distinguished lecture series with over a thousand participants on the nexus between geosciences and the SDG. We note also the contribution that has been made by the ISC fellows, distinguished members of our communities, to the International Year, and we enjoy seeing these contributions going forward into the international decade. We've heard today from some of the current leaders and some of the future leaders of our scientific organizations and associations. And we've seen the visionary and on-point um, call to action issued by the Young Academy community. My request is to you and to all of us here today to not stop questioning the status quo in science. Without imagining the impossible, 
this Large Hadron Collider would not even be here today. So this decade is an opportunity for us to keep imagining the impossible and to keep working collaboratively together to make it a reality. Thanks. Thank you.